In today's video, I went solo on a escalation server and we're going to survive for 24 hours. The server is solo only, meaning that there are no teams, no duos, no trios, none of that. And everybody here is completely alone. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more, let's aim for 200 likes and subscribe if you haven't already. We're trying to reach 50,000 by the end of this year. Last video's mythical giveaway winner is shown out. And today we're going through another one, which is an enchanted spark coated welding moss. To win this, make sure that you've liked, subscribed, and comment something below. Channel members also have a higher chance of winning. Alright boys, we're joining a solo only server. I think this is the only solo server that exists in all of Unturned. So everybody here can only be a solo, so there are no groups, nothing. No duos, no trios, no large zergs. Everyone here is completely alone. I did join quite early in the morning, so not a lot of dudes on, but probably more will join later. And yeah, we'll try to survive for 24 hours. We'll try to build a base that will last more than 24 hours. So I will be spreading this video into small parts during today. My first step, obviously, is I'm gonna try to get myself as much loot as possible. I'm gonna try to get myself stuff to build the base, so we're at the fire station, so that's perfect. Maybe we'll get a fire axe. But some other goals that I will do in this 24-hour video. First of all, let's put ragdolls on. I have ragdolls off. Obviously, we'll try to do some raids. I'm thinking of doing at least minimum of three different raids. We'll try to go for reinforced or wooden, not metal, because metal is pretty hard to raid, especially since it's gonna be solo. Server is vanilla, except that there's TP and home, so it's technically semi-vanilla. But loot is pretty much normal, normal mode. No decay, though, thankfully. But we just wanted parkwood, so I'm gonna loot parkwood. Yeah, we got ourselves an axe, we got ourselves a helmet. Let's get this to some decorations for a base. I'm not really gonna focus on building myself a large base. Since it's a solo server, I don't think anyone here is actually super geared that they're literally destroying everyone. Got ourselves glow as well, so that's pretty nice. Trying to get myself a gun. I'm gonna try to get myself some metal and some cloth so that I'll have enough to do a base. Get myself a bed and a door. Got ourselves combat pants. I'm not gonna salvage the firefighter because that's useful for tier 2. I don't know if I'll actually do tier 2 runs. I don't know where I'm gonna build. I was thinking of actually going on an island and living on an island. But probably are. Odds, since I didn't join the server on wipe day, odds are that somebody already built there. So, probably gonna have to find somewhere random. Or even a cave. But probably all the caves are taken over it. So, unfortunately. Maybe I'll try to get myself the LDG poster from here too. You can get it from Parkwood. There's two locations in Parkwood. There's absolutely nobody here by the looks of it. So all the zombies are here. I would think most people would be in Parkwood because you can get literally everything from here. But apparently not. That's good though. I could loot in peace. We got ourselves a pry bar. That's nice. Some food, mallets. Get ourselves some meds. Obviously once I get myself the gas mask, the first place I would loot is obviously the one next to Camp Crystal. To get ourselves the Valkyrie, maybe we'll try to raid a bit with the Valkyrie today, and then we'll salvage it afterwards. I am just gonna loot here, I'm gonna try to get myself all of the loot that I need, and then we'll start heading to... I'm gonna try to see if there's any islands that are unclaimed. If there are, then that's too bad. If there aren't, I'll just build there. And we'll survive on an island for 24 hours, basically. We got ourselves a pistol, that's good. Yeah, we got ourselves a gun. So now I can actually start moving away from here. Let me actually check the police station. Maybe there's something good over here. Maybe we have ourselves a shotgun or something like that. Seems like it's already looted, actually. Oh, yeah, there is. Wait. There we go. Got ourselves the blunt force. Lovely. Yeah, somebody already opened this door. We got ourselves a breaching hammer, too. And riot pants. All right, let's drop that. Can't salvage the riot pants, man. Yeah, I can't switch either. Looks like we're gonna have to leave the mallet there. We got ourselves a Hermes, too. Bro, I have no space. I don't know what to take. Alright, we could leave the pry bar here, and we could put the Hermes over there. Alright, lovely. Not bad. Today's video is sponsored by Pine Hosting. Are you guys trying to set up your own network for Unturned? Then look no further, because I got the best option for you, which is Pine Hosting. Pine Hosting is very easy to learn, the navigation is super user-friendly and not hard at all to master. The servers all have high performance with DDoS protection. When I started my own network a while ago, I had no clue how to do anything, but after a few minutes of looking around, I learned the basics shortly. They have locations all around the world, and the pricing is super worth it. They also have a variety of game servers to choose from, including Rust, Ark, and also Minecraft. A game-changing feature is the ability to install plugins and mods just by clicking once. Also, if you have a with another provider, you don't have to worry because Pine Hosting will help you move your servers. Make sure to check out the link below and use the code LDG for 30% off, and let's get straight back into the action. There's a lot of bases I'm noticing. Oh, dude, there's. Oh, of course, there was a guy. Great start, we're dead. We lost everything already. Now we kind of spawned closer to where I want to be. I'm gonna go check out Camp Crystal. I'm gonna try to get myself an axe, and I'll just go get myself on an island. And we'll see what's up there. Maybe uh, there's an island that's unclaimed, but probably they all are. 
Alright, so I did get an axe actually, and uh, we already checked out two islands. They're completely taken over. There's literally no way for me to even get on it. There's an island over here. It seems like it's actually untouched. So we'll give that a look and we'll see what um is on this island. If there's nothing here, I'll build like a little one by one for now. And then we'll expand. Oh yeah, there are bases, never mind. Alright, so actually the island is quite large. I can just build myself a temporary base. And later on we'll return and like a one by one. I can't even place a door, unfortunately. Because I need metal scrap and I don't have anything. Just have an axe and some clothes and a bed. That's basically it. So we literally have to keep this base completely open. Literally anyone can just walk in and destroy my bed. The thing is I don't have anything so I won't really be losing anything. But I'm just gonna chop down trees and I'm gonna build here. And perhaps we could raid these and live on the island ourselves later on. Yeah, we could place this right over here. So now it's chopping time and small base building time. Alright, so I did get myself a base down. I have to keep it open though, but we got ourselves a crate. I'm probably just gonna put the axe and the ammo in there. Hopefully nobody actually shows up, man. Because, but then again, I wouldn't really lose anything. So now I'm actually going to suicide. We'll put everything in here. Wherever we land, yeah, we're at lock dynamics. We're just gonna loot here. And if we get something good, I'll just home. Oh, jackhammer, that's perfect, actually. I can farm metal now. Already got two glow. I hear somebody raiding as well. So I don't know if I'll try to counter them or something, man. I don't even have a gun, though, so I'll... Just try to have to get a gun from here, and then we'll try to counter. I think he's raiding because he's just spamming shots. And people do tend to raid early in the morning because there's not a lot of people on. We got Nitro, that's good. Get ourselves some more pants. I really want a gun, man. Give me a gun, please. Vanilla loot is crazy sometimes. And there's another glue here. Bro, this is actually good. From glue, if you get a lot of glue, you can just turn it into tape if you just get... Some cloth. I already got like four glue, bro. That's crazy, man. Yeah, I really want to counter that. I don't know what gun he's using. Another glue? Bro, that's insane. Also, my bed got dis- Oh, wait. There we go. My bed just got destroyed, so somebody just walked in there and literally destroyed it. So, yeah, we lost that axe, basically. I really should have just gotten myself some metal to begin with, but... Either the owner joined or something like that. I don't know. I can try to get myself the breaching hammer from Volt, because I did Volt the good stuff. And we could try to go inside the room and get ourselves a save zone key card too, so we, that we can just get in there whenever we want. Because today I do want to do myself as much quests as possible, especially fishing. I want to fish today. Yep, we're through. Let's revolt this gun. There we go, got save zone key card. There's a bunch more ammo. Oh, a gun just- Yo, an asset! Bro, they just spawned right in front of my face. Alright, this is really good actually. Alright, the shots are starting to get loud there. I don't know what he's raiding with, man. It's like an auto gun with marksman ammo, I think. Or maybe with the HMT. Bro, if we get an HMT this early, that would be insane. I really need to figure out which base he's raiding, though, because there's too many bases. Yeah, we're starting to get even closer. Bro, imagine we kill him and get ourselves a raid and all of the loot. Oh, yeah, it's this base getting raided. There's chop trees around. He probably sealed off behind them then if there's chop trees. But I'm gonna circle around the base and I'm just gonna, I don't know, see what's up. If it's completely sealed, I can't do anything. I could just leave. Build close. Maybe when he's done, I could try to come back and see if there's any scraps. But yeah, I think he completely sealed off. Yeah, he has HMT in there, I think. That's mental. Yeah, this base is completely closed. There's lockers up there. Yeah, there's lockers up here. They're industrial lockers. Look at that. Yeah, he's inside. I hear him walking on metal, so he's in this, in this part. Yeah, he sealed off. I can't really do anything then. Unfortunately, I could just try to chop down a tree, go on the second roof, wait for him to come out, or maybe uh, he'll try to raid the lockers at the top. I don't know what he's gonna do, but we could stick around here for a while, see what he's gonna do. Alright, so I guess he homed because he didn't shoot for like the past 10 minutes, and uh, yeah, he's completely gone. I made stairs, I'm gonna go on the, s I'm gonna go on the roof, and I'm gonna wait here. I think he's not done with the raid, I think he homed to try to get more raiding gear. Because the lockers up here are still all here. Yeah, I don't hear any steps. He's, he's probably gone, man. Yeah, look at all these industrial lockers still here. So I'm just gonna wait for him. Maybe he'll come back with more raiding gear and then we will kill him. Okay, he's actually coming back, bro. He's what? He stopped. What? Bro, he's salvaging. There we go, we got him. Oh, he doesn't have raiding gear on him though. No. Oh, it's alright. 
I'm gonna take his learn, I'm just gonna dip. We got ourselves a full outfit, at least back everything, fully decked out gun, a bunch of ingots. So I'm just gonna leave. He has his raiding gear involved, bro, obviously. Yeah, I'm just gonna try to find myself somewhere to live then. I'm gonna try to build a base. Um, I don't know where though, man. Uh, I'm gonna sell, I'm gonna vault the gun, actually. Just so that we, if we die, we'll always have some backup. Problem is, I, I can't home because my bed is gone. The base that I built is gone, so I just need to build somewhere as quickly as possible, but somewhere not too close. Because if he's raiding that base, and if I build too close, he'll probably raid me too later on. So I'm just gonna cross the river here, and I'll build uh, probably close to the uh, bunker, actually. That would be a, a good location. Building close to the bunker would be a great idea, and a lot of people go there. Military loot uh, would, be a, would be a good idea. Alright, so I did run away a little bit. I'm gonna start chopping down trees. The only thing is I have a breaching hammer, so it's gonna take a while for me to chop down this tree. But I'll build a one by one for now. We'll just live in a one by one, doesn't matter. And uh, yeah, we'll build, we'll get ourselves a base and we'll start progressing. Bro, I accidentally made a double door instead of a normal door, so... Looks like we're gonna have to make a garage. Alright, and one by one base is done. I'm gonna empty my vault and we'll put all of this stuff in here. I'm not gonna run with the Elise back yet either, I don't wanna lose it. Get ourselves a stack of ingots, we'll put that bad boy right over there. Put all of the loot in there, we'll take the mags. Uh, the falcon is empty, so I might as well just salvage it. Get ourselves some parts, which will make them into springs. But for now, just put them in there. Even night vision, I'm not gonna risk it. And this anvil mask, we'll keep them there. And we'll go start roaming around with acid. We'll try to get ourselves some kills, try to get ourselves as much loot as possible. And later on, we will expand base. But for now, I'm not really worried about that. I don't really care. There's so many bases around, so... If my base gets picked out of like a million small bases around... That would actually be insane. Everywhere I went, I just saw unraided bases. It's incredible. And they probably think mine has like a car inside since it's a double door. But we'll definitely upgrade it later. Definitely to reinforce, maybe we'll make it into a two by ones just so that we have ourselves some extra protection. But for today, I don't really care about base building. Today, I just want to survive for a full day on a solo only survey. And we'll do some raids. Actually, the challenge should be that I survive in a one by one for a full day that would be kind of a challenge to be honest because if we just get door camped once we probably lose everything yeah we got a canteen that's good obviously my next step is i'm gonna try to get myself a gauze mask so we're gonna need adhesive compounds we're gonna need a canteen coffee filter and a lot of fabric i'm pretty sure so it's gonna be a grind anyway get ourselves a bipod so i'll put that on the asset and yeah probably my next thing is i'm gonna go to parkwood actually maybe there's people there we get ourselves some kills and from there, we can get ourselves a lot of items, too. There's a dude over there, bro. He has no idea about me. That was a, a pretty easy kill. Let's see what bro had. Let's kill the zombie. Uh, he had Ulf Burt's. Bunch of meds. Duct tape. That's good. I need that for the um, adhesive, obviously. But yeah, we're, we got ourselves a kill. I'm actually gonna vault that, and especially the duct tape. I don't want to lose that. Let's kill the zombie. But yeah, we're looting Parkwood. We did arrive. I'm really hoping that we get chemicals. If we get chemicals, then I would have myself everything to make uh, adhesive, obviously. But for a filter, we would need another duct tape. The zombie's down here. Let's kill him. All right, let's go to the top of the car park and just look around from the bridge. First people from there, we should be able to see them. Oh, somebody just broke a glass. There's the tank up here, so there's somebody else. They broke glass. Oh, you gotta be careful. I have no idea where they are. Let's get on top of this building, actually. We should be able to see more. Oh, wait, I see a guy. Yeah, he's right over there. Oh, there's somebody else? What? There's somebody shooting at him. Oh, yeah, he's up on the hill. I see him. Oh, he's shooting me now. Oh, he saw me, bro. Yeah, he missed. Wait, is he? I think he's pushing down. Yeah, I think he actually is pushing down. We could try to kill him. The other dude, the one that he was shooting at, had nothing. So if we kill this guy that tried to shoot me, we can get ourselves some... Bro, he's dying to a bear. 
Yeah, he's he's fighting a bear. Hit him. He's dead. All right, perfect. I'm gonna push down. Yo, shout out the bear for the assist, man. All right, we gotta get over this fence. Wait, I don't even know how. We gotta jump on this building, I think. Yeah, we gotta jump on this truck. We should be able to do the jump. Yep, we did. And he... All right, he doesn't have any... He had a pistol and a shotgun. Okay. I thought he had better guns, but unfortunately, no. But obviously, we're gonna salvage the... I'm getting shot at. Oh, he's inside that building. Bro, he hit me twice. Oh, he hit me again, bro. He got me through the three. All right. Let's just back up. Let's just try to run away, actually. Let's kill the zombie. Let's try to get out of here. I got some loot on me that I do not want to lose. So let's just run away. We could try to run back to base and uh, depot everything, actually. Alright, so we have no search, so I'm gonna use this knife to chop down. Bro, I really need to get myself an axe. With this, it takes so much. With an axe, it takes like three hits. I've already hit this tree like 15 times. That's mental. Yeah, there we go. And it gives us like seven logs. Alright, so let's put everything in here. Get ourselves quite a ton of extra guns too, so I'm really happy with the progression we got. I can make myself another ingot, I'm pretty sure. It'll save us a little bit more storage. Yeah, there we go. But for a full stack, we need five. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we need five. Oh, coffee filter, there we go. One more item for us to get to the dead zone. I just saw a dude run in here. Oh, hello there. He had nothing though. Get a canteen and impact grenade. Bro, that impact grenade can be good. We can do like the low tier rocket launcher. Alright, so my next step is I'm going to try to go to uh, TKR. I'm gonna vault this. I don't want to lose it. Let's take the knife out of my vault. It's med up as well. There's a lot of zombies around, man. My impact grenades are good. We can do certain low tier raiding methods. I am going to bleed out. I'm actually going to bleed out. Gotta salvage these. So apparently now you can use like individual clots to actually stop bleeding. So that's really good. Alright, so let's just start killing them. From TK, I'm hoping we get chemicals. If we do get that, we would have everything to do a dead zone run. Get everything for a gas mask, so that would be really good. There we go, yeah, we killed them all. Pants, some junk, we got ourselves a brick. I could actually try to enter here, to be honest. I think I do have the breaching hammer in my vault. Let's drink ourselves some water. Get ourselves pistol. Bro, there's a lot of guns, actually, but, like, low-tier guns. Nothing too crazy, you know? But we'll take them, obviously. Oh, wait, what? There's a guy. Oh, I'm dead. No. Oh, my. Bro, there's no way. I spawned kind of close, but he's not gonna be there. Well, there goes my asset. I had a fire axe, too. That would have been perfect for me to chop down trees for a base. There's nothing we can do. We'll just try to restart. We still have more guns in my base, actually, but I'm not gonna home. I'm gonna try to loot here as quickly as possible. Alright, so for the remaining of that night, I just chop down as much trees as possible so that we can get a lot of storage. And I was talking to somebody in the chat and he was just willing to give me two chemicals completely for free. So obviously I took advantage of that and I went to the safe zone. Right, so yeah, we're going to go to the safe zone soon. Uh, dude is actually going to give me chemicals, which is what I need to do a gauze mask. So that's actually perfect. Yeah, we got ourselves a large wooden crate. So let me just put that bad boy right over here. And now we'll go to the safe zone. We already have a safe zone key, so perfect. I'm not going to take the fishing rod with me yet. I'm not going to do fishing now. Probably like the next time it's night or later during this day. We'll see. But for now, I'm going to go get myself some free chemicals. He actually is here. I thought he was trolling for a second, but yeah, he actually gave me chemicals for free. Yo, thank you, man. Shout out to this dude for giving me free chemicals. All right, so we got ourselves the filter. Now, for a gauze mask, we still require a bit of items. I think we gotta get ourselves some plastic, which I don't think I have. We also need some fabric. I was gonna salvage this, but we can't. So I'll just go get myself some fabric. Should not be an issue, honestly. Yeah, we actually do have plastic. Just need literally a little bit more fabric. Plus, I'm trying to get myself some extra ammo and some meds, too. Probably just check out the bunker then. That was up. I think he's naked, though. Yeah, poor guy just spawned. Still gonna kill him though, obviously. Alright, and the gas mask is crafted. Now the plan is, I'm just gonna put it in vault. I'm going to put the Elise spec also in vault. And whenever we start doing the dead zone, I'll just wear the Elise spec. So that way, if I do meet people on my way and I die, I won't lose the Elise spec. So I, I think that's a pretty good plan. We also got an ECS-25, so we can start raiding with marksmen. But obviously, we'll focus on raiding later during the day. Right now, let's just get ourselves a good dead zone run. Let's hope we'll get the Valkyrie. 
If not, I'll just try to get myself airdrop grenades. That would be insane if we do. But if not, I'll just, you know, I'll just try to get myself as much guns as possible. Got myself a lot of extra ammo. It should be more than enough. And got myself a backpack. I got myself some extra meds. And uh, yeah, here we go. Now's the journey to go to the other side of the map. And hopefully not die. There's a dude back there. He seems geared, actually. I'm gonna try to get on top of this rock and just jump on him. Yeah, he's... He's kind of clueless, actually. Yeah, he's gonna be around. Alright, uh, yeah, he's the kill. There we go, he's dead. Oh, he had a breaching hammer. Oh, yeah, he had a uh, riot top and pants. Breaching hammer, alright. Sensari. Yeah, let's just keep going to the dead zone, though. There's more shots going on at Parkwood. So I'm gonna try not to mess with that. I don't wanna distract myself too much. Alright, boys, dead zone time. Our first run. Let's hope we get a good one. Had to switch all the way over to the other map. So what we do is we shoot here and all the zombies are alerted. Come on, man. All of you die, please. Give me airdrop grenades. There's a flame right there, so... Yeah, let's kill them all. Not a lot of zombies are spawning, though, but... We're getting some load, some ammo and uh, attachments by the looks of it. I think we killed them all. Yeah, we got a Tonijin compact. Uh, nothing that good, though, else. Oh, the Valkyrie is not even here, bro. We got ourselves a Desert Falcon. Uh, this is not that good, man. It's actually not really good. Let's just loot it as quickly as possible. There we got another compact grenade. Nitroglycerin. Some clothes. We're gonna salvage all of the clothes, obviously. And wear amphibious. Yeah, let's check out what these boxes over here have. They could have some good stuff, but... Alright, helmet, compacts. We're getting a lot of guns. That's good, but... Not really why we came here, you know? Let's check out the armory. The other side now. But... Yeah, nothing good. I think someone just looted it. Like a few minutes ago. LTLM. I'll take that. Alright, yeah. We can home. We can get out of here. Let's leave the dead zone and we'll home. Oh, there's a dude out here. Oh no, my gun's on semi! Bro, die. There we go. He almost killed me, man. I didn't realize this gun was on semi, but... Oh, uh, yeah. He had a car battery. If you guys salvage a car battery, you got chemicals if you guys didn't know. So, if you guys see car batteries, always take them, even if you don't need them. Oh, uh, yeah. We got, we got coffee filter, so that's good. Oh, uh, yeah, but that zone, we did that an hour ago. I went AFK for like an hour. We're back. I heard steps. We killed him. So, let's just continue where we left off last time. Salvage this. All right, not too bad. So I think my next step is since we did do a dead zone run, I think I'm just gonna wait a little bit and we'll do one later on. Because we didn't really get anything good from it, we just got ourselves some guns. That, that's it, and that's not really, you know, anything special, unfortunately. So I'll wait a little bit, I'll roam around, try to find myself maybe some PvP. Probably try to upgrade base too, actually. We'll do that soon. Uh, so we waited around 20 minutes, um, we're going back to the dead zone. Hopefully the Valkyrie respawns. So what I do is I just come to this save zone. And, um, first of all, let's claim ourselves some quests. Yeah, we can't really do it yet. I need to get myself 50 bucks, which I can do if I do the dead drop quest. And sell some guns. Let's get ourselves the relax for a minute quest too. But basically what I do after this is I just go to a random spawn down from here. And maybe we'll get very close to the dead zone. But it's very random. We're back in, but yeah, we came here for nothing. Just wasted a bit of our filter. Got myself like two guns and that's it. Well, let's just get out of here. Oh, someone's shooting, bro. That's, that's somewhere he Oh, yeah, he's right there. Wait, he's shooting at a player, bro. That's a player. I thought it was a zombie. I'll just kill them both. There we go. Uh, well, some guns. Nothing too crazy, though. Oh, wait, there's another dude. He's dead. Last bullet killed him, man. Yeah, my guy had three guns. Oh, I got ourselves a lot of guns. I won't complain. Let's switch the backpack. Let's med up. Got ourselves a Centauri. That's pretty nice. Let's see what else these dudes had. Duct tape. Bed. Let's refill our bad boy. There we go. But the duct tape is very nice. We really needed that for another filter, actually. So I will not complain. Bro, I think someone's raiding right next to me, actually. Let me go see. I'm going to try to counter, but I don't. I think that was a grenade or something, though. Or nitroglycerin or something, but let's put everything in here. Yeah, our crates are starting to get quite full. I need to expand base soon again, man. Yeah, let's put this painting there. We got ourselves some paintings, the aired one. I really want to get the LDG poster, but it's alright if I don't get one. You guys don't know, you can get an LDG poster of my logo in this map. Uh, you can get it from Parkwood. 
in the mall and there's another house in Parkwood where you can get it too. And currently in my Discord, people are showcasing their bases with the LDG poster. So if you guys do that, make sure to join my Discord and uh, yeah, showcase your own. It would be very nice to see. Alright, so let's just loot in here now. I hear some shots in the distance. I think that's over at the tunnel actually. So after this, we'll go there. But I love that the server is only one player. It's only solo. So if I kill one person... I don't have to worry about his teammate coming back or TPing back. It's kind of like literally vanilla, except that you can home. Because TPA does I don't think it's even enabled on the survey. Right, we got a baffle kit on this um, uh, compact. I absolutely love this gun. I think compact is my favorite gun from this map. Either the compact or the asset. I think they're the best for PvP. There's a dude there. Green skin hit him once. Oh, he has a gun. I, wait, I think that's... He has like that sniper, bro. That's a very OP gun. I'm gonna chuck a nade at him. Eight. Okay, I chucked it too far. Bro, that grenade flew, man. Literally. Let's refill. Problem is I don't have extra mags, so... That could be a bit of an issue. I have nitroglycerin, I could chuck that too, but... Eight. I don't think it's... Yeah, that just... That was just a bad throw, to be honest. Oh, he hit me. Bro, I'm in the open, no! Okay, he missed. I gotta refill, man, every single time. Oh, he's pushing up. I could try to push him then. I mean, he has a sniper, so... Let's med up though first. Yeah, he's reloading. Hit him twice. Hit him again. Hit him three times. What? Bro, last bullet killed him. Oh, he actually has a lot of junk, bro. Alright, that's good. Let's take everything. Firefighter clothes, axe, bunch of gun. Why did he... What? He had a bisey. He didn't use that. Alright, that was interesting. But yeah, easy kill. Last bullet saved me. We're gonna get ourselves a lot of salvageables from this. A lot of metal springs, scrap. Gun parts, so right, let's refill and let's get the hell out of here. Let's run back to base. All right, so we got a lot of ingots, so now it's time to upgrade the base to full reinforced. I think in my one by one, you know what? It's actually we still have a bit more space to, to put it, bro. And we still have so somewhere to put storage. I could put like two large crates over there. Let's put this right over there for now. Salvage this wall. And then we would just have another wall in the doorway and the floor. And we got ourselves a uh, full reinforced, man. All we need is literally like seven ingots and that's it. I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna farm myself uh, some more wood so that we can do some more storage. Alright boys, it is now fishing time. I got myself enough money to buy one. And uh, yeah, here we go. I'm gonna try to get myself at least a fiber gloss rod. And I'm gonna try to get myself as much glue, chemicals, obviously as much money. So that we can make ourselves even more adhesive. Because if we get glue and chemicals, it's enough. Because with glue, we can turn into tape. Back in base from a pretty good fishing run. Uh, got myself a lot of chemicals. Got three chemicals and there we go. 
Already got easy adhesive, so that that's nice. My one by one is starting to get stacked, bro. If someone raised this base, we're gonna get quite a ton of loot, and we're gonna make charges. We're gonna start making charges. Now we have reached the point where it's time to start doing some base raids. I think I'm gonna do another dead zone run first, though. Maybe from there we'll get more nitroglycerin because we need nitroglycerin in order to actually craft charges, but I do have quite a ton already, but obviously not enough. And there's somebody shooting literally right outside my base. Let's put everything in here and let's see what's up. Get ourselves maybe some easy guns. Let's put this gun crate over there and let's go. There's somebody reloading, I hear him. He's inside the bunker. I'm just gonna jump straight down and surprise him, give him a jump scare, you know? What? Wait, where is he? Bro, he homed. Oh, there's no way, man. Oh, bro, the timing, no. Alright, uh, dead zone run number three. Oh, yeah, I screwed up. I have silencer, so zombies won't hear me when I shoot. Honestly, I came here for the Valkyrie. Yep, it's here. Got some subot slugs still. 100 high kill. That's nice. Detto. Oh, my God. That's what I needed, bro. I didn't have a detto this whole time. Perfect. All right, let's get out of here. Got everything that I needed. So let's go home and it's time to start looking for some insane base raids. All right, we're back. Found a base. Um, it's wood, but I think the insides is going to be uh, reinforced, but we'll give it a try. Yep, we broke through and yeah, it's just reinforced. Shouldn't be a problem though. I still have another C4. We still have the Valkyrie, a lot of high cal. Almost fell in, would have been a problem if I did, but yeah, we're through. Uh, let's just put that bad boy right there. Let's hope it's enough, man. We're gonna have to probably redo Valkyrie. Yeah, it's not enough. Valkyrie it is then. Probably gonna need to home. Yeah, we're still not through. All right. No problem. A home. Get myself more Valkyrie ammo and even marksman ammo. But I think with the Valkyrie slugs, we'll have enough to go through. Let's just hope so. I think I have around like three shots for it. Where the hell did I put them? Oh yeah, they're there. We got two. Okay. Let's take the 100 Tykel box. Let's take an ECS. And let's go. Alright, we're back. Valkyrie time. Really hope it's gonna be enough, man. This reloading sound is so cool for this gun, so... And one more shot. Oh, perfect. We're through. Okay, thank God. There's a locker and um, one large crate. Let me put the Valkyrie back in vault. And the ECS too. The 100 Tykel. And we got chainsaw, jackhammer, bunch of guns, banana peels, meds, nitroglycerin, tape. Um, I don't really think this is worth it, to be honest. But yeah, we got actually glue too. So we got enough for one of these of compounds. So we did get some in return. Let's just seal that off. Let's shoot down this bed. It takes a lot to break a bed on this map too. Banana peels are kind of funny. Um, if you place them on top of your base, you can just fly away. There are no umbrellas in this game, but... There's banana peels. We got a Lutzi. Okay. They crafted that one then. Got an Amphibious Helmet. Oh, you know what? I'm not gonna salvage it. I'm actually gonna wear it, dude. Salvage the beanie. Yeah, chemicals. We got Night Vision Toe. And another Adhesive. Yeah, we got some stuff in return. Um, don't think it's worth it, though. Chainsaw and Jackhammer are nice, though. The Chainsaw, we didn't have one, so... It's gonna make our wood farming much easier. So, very soon, we'll probably upgrade it to a 2x1. I don't know if we should come back and raid this locker, to be honest. Could try to raid it with Marksman, but uh, maybe we'll do that later. I'll just raid another base. Alright, so I got myself a lot of wood, and we're just gonna build three walls. One floor, one roof, and a doorway, and we're gonna reinforce them all. So first, let's just build these. Now let's get ourselves a few ingots. Let's unstack these ingots. And we're gonna get ourselves literally a full reinforced one by one. So we just reinforce everything. There we go. And yeah, man. That's, that's how we do it. Put that there. Put all of the walls. And then at the end, we'll just salvage the reinforced wall. And this wall, we'll replace it instead of another wall that I have, which is just wooden for now. There we go. We're gonna serve a pretty nice... Base. I'm just going to move some of the loot into this one by one now. I'll make myself a doorway. Yeah, we're gonna have to salvage these because they're in the way. But yeah, base is looking pretty nice, bro. It's small, but I don't really want a big base today. Alright, so I just looted Log Dynamics and now Fort Martin for um, 
Nitro Glycerin. We didn't really get a lot, but we think we got more than enough to uh, raid another base. But I think I'm gonna do another Dead Zone run very, very soon. Alright, insane base raid number two. This one looks like it's mainly wood as well. Some of it was reinforced. Yeah, we threw. Broke a lot of it already. Uh, a lot of lockers. Alright, that's it. A bunch of ammo. Crown bullets. Okay. We'll take those. Yeah, we're gonna have to seal off this base. There's a lot of guns. Night vision, some clothes. Get ourselves a handbook, too. Let's pick up everything we find, man. Uh, more guns. A lot more ammo. ECS. Backpacks. Bro, there's so many ammo in this base. This is like an ammunition base raid. Yeah, we're gonna have to seal off this base. They have a plastic crate. Baffle kit. We gotta get on the other side. Another ECS canteen. Let's see what their gun crates have. Uh, LTLM. That's good. We already had one, but... Oh, there's another... Yeah, plastic box has a lot of guns. Alright, we'll take the electronics, obviously. There's an EOD helmet. Yeah, we're gonna have to do multiple runs for this raid. I'm gonna have to uh, just build myself a roof, chop down myself a few trees. Let's do that right now, actually. There's already some logs here. Let's pick this up. There was some ammo outside of the base. I glitched out. Chop down this tree. We'll see you tough and we'll come back with more raiding gear. All right, there we go. I think I have enough. Could have 10 logs. Yeah, there's a reindeer around, bro. It was a moose. All right, got ourselves two roofs. Let's place these. Now people cannot come and, you know, take the loot that I have on the floor. Oh, bro, there's an RSS. Oh, I did not see that. We'll take that, definitely. Yeah, we'll come back and raid with Marksman Ammo next. I should have quite a ton in base. Right, let's break this and... Yeah, just some guns. Nothing too crazy, though. Bro, there's a dude here, yeah. There we go, dead. Oh boy, he's geared. Damn, he's very geared. All right, let's take everything and uh, we'll home. I'm gonna do a dead zone run very soon. All right, dead zone run number four. Let's hope this one is the best one yet, bro. So we'll shoot one there. And now we'll just eliminate all of them with the silence gun. Come on, all of you. But yeah, we're almost done with 24 hours. I did log off for quite a while after that trade. Base is still... Pretty much alright. Nothing happened. They see it as a very small base, so they don't think they're gonna raid it, you know? They don't think it's worth it. But they don't know what kind of loot is in there. Yeah, there's another Valkyrie. Perfect. We can get the HMG finally. So there we go. Let's get that. Yep. But we're still gonna try to finish the raid that we were doing earlier. I really hope that the owner didn't log on when I was offline. Let's pop this filter. But I don't think that they did. Come on, man. Give me the good loot, bro. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna try to finish myself to the tier 2 dead zone. I think if I get myself the airdrop module, people are just gonna camp it out. So I don't think it's gonna be worth it, especially if- I Oh, airdrop grenade! Perfect. Especially if I'm literally getting everything from, you know, these items. Yeah, we're, we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna have to leave the dead zone and then we'll home. We'll go pop that airdrop grenade somewhere close to my base. Get ourselves a missile too from this run. Alright, so I just made myself a bunch of lockers as well. I'm gonna put them, we're gonna do our locker wall over here under the block poster. Alright, it's gonna land. And we got a weapon case, HMG, box, bunch of grenades. Alright, not bad. We can finally reuse the grenade launcher then. That's good. Got one nitroglycerin. I really wonder what we're gonna get from this box. So let's just home and we'll open the armory box. Please give me good stuff. Uh, we got ourselves full outfit, yep. At least back. First gun we're gonna get is, um, what do we get? I don't even know what we got. I think we got an ECS and, yeah, Ulfbert. ECS is nice. We got ourselves, like, a lot of marksman ammo. Uh, Uze, okay. Not bad. There's a dude there. Hit him. I'm gonna rush, bro. I don't care if I die. Yeah, he's out in the open. There we go. He's dead. All right. Good. Oh, he's geared, bro. He has EOD. Oh, yeah, he has a blowtorch. Okay. Finally, we got a blowtorch, bro. Blowtorches are so hard to get in this map for whatever reason. All right, let's go. All right, so last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna raid this. Yep, we did. We broke the majority of the lockers, and looks like a bunch of guns. Yeah, this is the thing about raiding, like, these type of servers, solos, that it's vanilla loot. Not always guaranteed to get good stuff from raids, no matter what kind of base it is. There's still a few more lockers, but I don't think there's gonna be anything good from here. 
We can take everything and salvage them, obviously, even the guns. But yeah, we're done with this raid. And we survived for 24 hours. It's been like almost 24 hours now. So yeah, we did it. We survived Escalation as a solo for 24 hours in a very small base. So we did it. I think nobody ever even walked close. There was some dudes that walked close to my base, but they weren't coming to try to raid me or whatever, you know? So it was a bit of an epic journey. Had a fun time. I would love to see more solo-only servers. We got Firefighter top and bottom, so we can technically go do a tier 2 run. We can just salvage both Valkyries, and we should have adhesive, so... Yeah, we could have done that, but I'm not going to. Oh yeah, guys, that's it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed. If you guys want to see more like this in the future, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!